Hi, this is Joe from HowToChangeYourName.com, and we're going to change your name in the state of Utah. Now, if you're watching this video and not on our site, you can go right in the description area and right next to the word instructions and uh, catch up with us. But if we want to scroll down a bit to these five steps to change your name, uh, basically you have a filing fee of $360, which I believe is the highest of any state because you have to go through this uh, Department of Corrections certification regarding sex offender registry. Basically, it's just a really long name for a form that you have, they have to check you to make sure that you're not on the sex offender registry list, so that you're not trying to change your name so that you can get off that list. Uh, so you have to send uh, in the mail this form uh, so that you can get a background check and upon receiving the letter back states that you the petitioner have a clean record you may proceed and this is where we start to have some fun step two you have to fill in the petition for name change now if you just click on this it's a pretty self-explanatory form it just asks you uh, your birth name your date um, and a few other questions and if you want to attach that form back uh, from the Department of Corrections, so you're going to get this form that you got back that said you were clean, get your petition, and attach the cover sheet. This is another form that you need. Uh, have the petition notarized, and you are ready to file your petition package to the county court clerk's office. And if you don't know where that is, you can just see below. Uh, these are all the counties in alphabetical order. Just click on the county that you uh, fall into, and I'll direct you to that court. Uh, you'll be given a court date for your hearing. The court, although very rarely, may decide that the petitioner needs to let others know of the name change and need to be notified. Um, if this happens, you'll need to send this form to the necessary parties. This is just for people that are getting their name changed and uh, they were not just married and they were not just divorced. If you were just married or just divorced, I doubt that you're going to have to do this. Uh, but upon showing up for you to your court hearing, you're going to need to bring an order changing name and you will use that as uh, your official certi certificate that the judge will sign that basically authorizes your name change. You take this order changing name to the DMV, Social Security Office, Passport, Bank. This is the actual form. Uh, that changes your name at all those places. So this is a very important form. The judge is actually going to sign this form. And that's it. That's how you change your name in Utah.